What's a timber man want with being a wiki? Just looking to earn a living. It's like any man. Starting new. On the run. Ooh, just in time for Halloween, you don't say. We have got uh, the one and only Lord Howe here to talk all things Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe in what looks like a 19, I don't know, 50s Hitchcock movie. Lord, what is this? It's the lighthouse. Okay, and it's a dark house, it seems. Yeah. It's okay, this is the newest film from Robert Eggers, who do you remember The Witch? I don't watch that. I don't I don't, I don't know. You can I don't like stay away from horror. Is it like a Blair Witch scary? No, it's more of like a psychological thriller type of vibe, which is what Robert Eggers created. The Witch was like this massive sensation. I personally am a, I'm a big fan. I also love my horror movies. Mm -hmm. And this is his newest film with Willem Dafoe, Robert Eggers playing lighthouse keepers. Okay. And they are essentially very secluded on this remote island off of New Hampshire, based in the 1890s. The entire film is in black and white, adding to this beautiful, haunting type of a emotion throughout it. It's incredible. So they live a very solitary existence. This is so like black and white film noir style. And yeah. you re did you talk to them? We did. We chatted with Willem Dafoe and Robert Eggers. And it's, I also was curious why they wanted to do this in black and white. Yeah. So it kind of got their say on it. Okay, let's take a look. The black and white, it's so beautiful, but because it makes things a little more formal in a funny way. So while it's clearly not in the studio, it, um, you know, I look at it and sometimes I think, it's so beautiful, but can you really see how cold it is, <laughs> you know? Can, can you really feel? It's always bleak, um, you, you know, even if, even if there's a sunny, windy day, it feels bleak. Very different and very cool yeah. for 2019 to do this sort of throwback style. Exactly. And it's funny what Robert just said about having it always feel bleak. So this is actually filmed. It's Canadian filmed out uh, off the coast of Nova Scotia. They found an island and built the set there, built the lighthouse, but they always wanted to make sure the environment. I mean, obviously you can get very harsh conditions, but when it wasn't that way, they took things to the extreme to make sure things were uh, appropriately... Unsettling. Yes. <laughs> okay. The wind was sometimes so strong that literally you'd almost get lifted off your feet. You'd have to kind of hug the ground. True. I was living in a fisherman's cottage and very close to the set. And I, the elements were, you know, very part of my uh, daily life. Certainly we had wind machines and, and rain machines, but generally the most extreme things are, are real. There was some enchantment in the light. We were in that world. The two actors and the crew, we'd go out there and we'd work long hours and then you'd go home and sleep and then you'd be back at it. I know that Rob has spoken in, in the press about wanting to cause me physical harm on set. He, <laughs> he was He's very professional and I didn't know that until he uh, spoke about it publicly. <laughs> uh, but, but I think that he knew w what the reason was and how that was going to uh, what that was going to do for his performance in the story and why it was essential. How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. I'm sure, I'm sure Willem's a nice guy, but all I see is Green Goblin and I get scared. It's so interesting <laughs> that you have him facing really the new Batman, which is interesting before that yeah. all starts up. Exactly. So you give this two scares up. I, I do. It's definitely an artistic film, I would say, for anybody being prepared. Okay. It's artistic, psychological thriller, and it's it's weird, but wonderfully weird. And that's exactly why Rob and Willem wanted to get involved in this film. Okay, so know that. It's not yeah. your typical horror, gore, here's some yeah. crazy supernatural things. Exactly. Okay, let's do, let's do that then. The Lighthouse is open in select theaters Thursday. And by you guys, I mean not me, because that was plenty. <laughs> Thanks. I'm a scaredy cat. Thanks. Tap it out. <laughs> we'll be back with more VT right after this. It was scary enough.